people speak about the need for a homestead dog and the amount of training that is required from your busy day to train a dog to be effectively obedient on your property. Living on acreage means that you still have to get your dog out to socialize them in the outside world so they can desensitize to all the world has to offer that they may become frightened of. For me, this is extra important since my homestead dog will also be my future traveling companion. In this video, you will see all the many months of disciplined training that has gotten me to this point. Breakfast is hearty today because I have a lot of work to do outside. This is my breakfast. This is my French bread that I made. I put some butter on it and then I have a fried egg here with some Swiss cheese and some salmon. Very good breakfast today. park now and it's Saturday not Friday like I was hoping to go but um, I know there's gonna be more people in the park today today I want to see if what she does when she sees another dog it's pretty bright this morning so it might get the lighting might not be perfect you know there's a lot of people that jog here now in the morning they come out and they walk early I used to walk at this park a lot the trails and stuff she's not ready for the trails yet she's just ready to kind of walk around and that's what I'm gonna do because um, she needs to get out of this fear stuff. Oh, she's barking at the with the dog. She's got some bark on her, doesn't she? Oh my gosh. Well, in case you don't see the guy with the orange in the motorcycle, let's see if he comes around now. That's what happened. So she gets really petrified. And I'm just gonna put this here because I'm not driving. But um, she's really scared, really scared. So. We've, we've gone in and out of the van several times. The last three times, I'm gonna say, she did really well. She wanted to go out and stuff, even though the, the, the guy's there. <laughs> My luck today. This is why I can't come here on Saturday, because too many people come to the park. Too many people come to the park on Saturday. And I'm just getting super hot. It's gonna be 79 today, but it was cold this morning. It was in the low 50s. So cold for me, I'm in Florida. So anyway, um, I'm gonna take off, she did good. This is something I'm gonna to have to do several times. The guy, he's over here, he's practicing on his motorcycle. And Sika freaked out when the guy arrived with the motorcycle. But after a while, she was okay, she was okay. He'd come around and he'd be louder, but I'd tell her, you're okay, you're okay, and she'd, she'd be okay. So I need her to know that she's okay, that I can, that she's gonna look at me for protection. And that's where I'm at in all this. If she can do that, I know she'll be okay. But we've got some work to do before we can get on the road or go on any trips because she's gonna be a camper dog for a while. And I've gotta do this before I can uh, take a trip with her. I'm in my neighborhood. My house is over there. I'm gonna take Sika to the park, but I put the harness on her that I have. It's like a seatbelt harness. And I'm practicing with her. I still have to adjust it a little bit more. It's a little bit loose in the front, but that's why I wanted to take her for a walk to see what I have to do here before I take her to the park. See how she behaves today. I think this is gonna be way better for her, the harness for walking and hiking because she pulls too much with her anxiety and I know that, that uh, the collar is not good for her for that. She's probably too wound up with anxiety to even notice that she's choking. So, and this is a shorter leash. I can make it longer, but I'd rather her to be on a shorter leash. I want to start teaching her to walk closer to me. And this is where we're at now. And I think it's going to work well. I, I'm going to get to the park today and I'm just going to sit in the van with her for a little bit so she can just get used to where we are and then i'll take her out i'm gonna i'm not even gonna take this off of her i'm gonna leave this harness on her because man it was a struggle to get this on her today
Okay, I noticed also that because my hand is still recovering from my wrist surgery and I can't close my grip as tightly, this wider and heavier leash is way more comfortable and I can grip it way better than I could the thin one. With the other leash, usually what I have to do is wrap it around my finger because it's thin and I'm afraid that it's going to go loose. So I wrap it a couple of times around my hand because I'm right-handed, but I feel like I need to wrap it because I'm, I'm not confident yet that she can't break loose from my hand that's still healing. Wouldn't you know if there's a... Stop. Bark. Stop. No bark. No bark. You're okay. You're okay. See, the balloon is over here. Okay, that. Here's the balloon. The pink balloon flying all over the place. So you can see that I have her harness on. She does so much better with the harness. And this is a seatbelt harness that I had for Muffin, but it was too big on Muffin. But still, Muffin used it uh, maybe the first couple of times. That we went in the RV and then she just didn't use it. She didn't need to. She's the kind of dog that just sits still. But this is perfect for this dog. She's really doing well. We walked all around there, all around there, all around there, all around there. She's a little skittish, but she's getting confidence. And that's what I need. I need her to start getting confidence and confidence in me. All in all, I consider it a success. And many times more, I have to continue to come here and bring her to places it's got to know that we're going to be traveling and visiting different places every day it's not the same street not the same yard but every day is a different place and she's got to be comfortable with that and that's part of the training that i'm doing with her now This is my first day going back to that place where Hasika had her tragic accident that she got away from me. And I talked about that. I'll link the video down below. But this is the first time and she didn't want to come back here. She got up to the circle over here. Did one walk there on the circle. And then I thought, okay, today is the day I'm going to break her of her fear. She still remembers. She's got a lot of anxiety. She didn't want to go, but I brought lots of treats and I kept throwing her treats and we kept walking and walked. It's been nice to be able to see her go from anxiety to relaxing as we're walking. Of course, I have the harness on her um, because she pulls me too much. She has that anxiety and she needs the harness. So this one is perfect because it adapts in several places. And it's, um, it's very strong because it's made for impact in a car. So this is why I like it so much. Anyway... So I just wanted you to know that I'm trying to break her of this fear. I thought if she comes back to the place where maybe this is the maybe this was her trigger. Um, she's had some issues in the past, but it could be that this was the trigger. And I'm thinking maybe it was that woman, but maybe it wasn't. Maybe this, or maybe this just added to all of that. Then it could be that this accident that happened that day triggered something in her—a fear. So, but she's doing good. She's not trying to get back home. She's here sniffing away because we're in our sniffer walk that we go on. I try to get her to the park as much as I can when I can, but some days I can't. And today's one of them. I have too much to do. But Friday, definitely, I will bring her to the park. that a lot of people don't talk about is that when you are parked for a while with your RV, you have to continue to maintain the things in your RV. So in other words, I have to start up my truck twice a month and I have to let it run for 30 minutes if not the battery dies. Trust me, on this channel, you have seen me kill batteries as a result that I wasn't doing that. Also, I have lights like this. These are USB charging lights. Every month, in my planner, I have a list of all the things I have to go in the RV and charge. This is one of them. 
another one is my shower pump for the bathroom when I'm boondocking. I use this to take a shower in my RV, which is a pump, and I just have to put it in a bucket with some water. The other reason I do that is because in case of there's a blackout or something here, or a hurricane or a storm, a lot of these things I could use at home. So it benefits me to always have them working. And when I go to charge it up and this doesn't go on, then I can service it before I go on the road and realize it doesn't work. Just went out to the RV to get my helium battery pack. This is the one that charges that LED string of lights that I have outside my RV. So I have to also charge those monthly. And they don't take a long time to charge because they're pretty charged up as it is but I like to keep them maintained. So when I have to go on the road or if there's a wildfire here, I'm prepared. I have always stuff in my RV because if there is a fire around me, I can take off in my camper. I suck with my thumb like a baby. <laughs> this product, because I bought it on Amazon. You want this? Okay, there are times where I have to get work done and she doesn't leave me alone. She needs something to bite, and that's when she starts biting my hand, and that's when I know she needs this. I can be with this for a good baby two hours. I know Missy wants one because it smells really good, so I'm gonna have to get Missy a treat now. Only bone that she could chew that lasts more than 15 minutes, and I have tried them all. I've tried the collagens, I've tried the, um, the bully stick, but the bully sticks, man, her breath, and she goes to bed with me, and her breath is a stink bomb. This is a pretty good product. This last, so she's over there chewing it up now. She's gonna be at that for quite a while. This is her eating her little bone. I'm gonna do my Bible study now. My Bible is getting so fat. I have so many notes. There's so many notes in here. Look at this. <laughs> it's getting so fat. I might have to have it recovered in the future, but. She loves those champas, man. And this is how I get my Bible study done in the morning. It's dark out and I do my Bible study at this time in the morning. I just sit in bed with her and I watch her. That way I'm supervising her while she's eating her bone. And um, I just get to relax and ease into my day with Bible study. And then I can get up and do all my stuff. She's just barking at the cows. Good girl. You bark? So you can bark. Good girl. Yes. Good girl. You're such a good girl. You're letting me know there's somebody back there. Something back there, huh? I drove up here to where the trails are and I'm not too far from the trail. I'm not going to do too much to take stops of shopping. I have to get done. But she's in the trail and she's really scared. She wants to go back to the van. But she's doing it. She's getting, she's gaining confidence and that's what I want. I came in that way and I'm not making any turns or going anywhere. I'm just going to go straight back. I'm not prepared to do a full trail hike with her yet. So she keeps looking back. She keeps looking back. She has what she wants. See? She wants to go back. But I keep pushing her to go a little bit further, a little bit further this way. She's got to gain confidence. She's got to get confidence in me that she's going to be okay. She doesn't turn back when she wants. I'm going to go to the pole there. I was going to turn back there, but she started turning back. I want her to turn back when I say we're gonna turn back now when she's scared so right here there's a pole and right here I'm gonna tell her that we're gonna turn around okay Sika Sika we're gonna go to the van okay all right let's go come on ah no pulling no pulling she starts pulling she's like right away I saw the van and she starts like she's ready to look at this look at this all right, I gotta hold her really tight. I just wanna show you, this is the name brand of this. And it's adjustable from here. And it all, it has, this is for the seat belt. This is where you clasp it on. And then this is where, I mean, I can grab her when, when people pass by us, I usually grab her because I know she's gonna lunge um, barking and they're, she's gonna scare them. So I grab her from here. And then down here, you can see that it is um, from I think I bought this at Petco actually. Yep, I bought this at Petco. It's nice and um, thick down here, which is great. Can't do a lot of filming because I can't put the camera down because I'm focused on Sika and my hand, and I'm using my left hand, not my right, because I can't close my hand all the way. So I got to be able to grasp her because she pulls hard. I just want to show you what I'm going through. So she is petrified at the maintenance lady over there, and she's just not no bark, no bark. No bark. Look, look at her pulling. Look at her pulling. Look at this. And I have her on a short leash. 
and I'm gonna move her from here. So these are the struggles that I'm going through with her. And for some reason today, I thought it was gonna be easier because she's already walked this, she's already familiar. I keep telling her the same thing. Um, no, no bark, no bark. I wanna move because that noise she doesn't want. My man is over there. I think you can see it right there. This is her. She wants to go back to the van. There's a lot of people here. There's some people doing like yoga and stuff there. This is like the end of the trail here um, in the woods. Most people go in the other way and then they come around this way. Oh, man, look at this. She keeps pulling me back to the van. She keeps pulling me back to the van. She wants to go back to the van. That's her safety net is the van from the worst of the world. Even at home when I open the garage and the van is open, she'll go in there and she'll sit in the van. Yes, good girl. not even like taking her anywhere i'm just letting her just sniff explore but there's none of this come there's none of that there's none of that going back i'm not letting her go back she's got to get confidence and keep continue to walk that's what i have to build is her confidence i'm gonna do this a little step at a time we don't have to go all the way there i could take me till three o'clock to get there but i need her to be confident that she's gonna be okay that she could do this you did good yes you did good she stresses me out, I will tell you. She probably picks up on a lot of my stress because I get stressed too. Because um, I get stressed to see her like that. Oh, is that a mosquito? Oh, it wants to eat my eyeballs. I don't know if you can see it. And my finger right there. Oh gosh. I got a splinter in there and I can't get it out. I've done everything to get it out. And it's really bothering me today. And this leash keeps rubbing against it and it's just been annoying. So, okay, I think she wants to keep going. I'm with her on that. She wants to keep going. I'm good. I'm good. I gotta rest my ankle every once in a while. I wanna overdo it. There we were. Down, going up, and then over here, you see it's going down, going up. This is a lot of elevation here. This is unusual for her because we don't have elevations where I live. It's all straight and flat. It's not a lot, but it's different for her. I mean, if I could use my ankle I wouldn't mind going up some of these hills with her so she can start learning but um, I'm still I'm still careful with my ankle we are on our way back to the van she did really good she's probably very thirsty and I'm keep telling her where's the van where's the van I want her to take me to the van because if she ever gets lost hopefully she will go by the van and just get under the van and wait for me there Sika where's the van can you find the van I love to see her doing this because I mean she's calm enough that she wants to explore. Where's the van? Go we'll find the van. Did you find it? Where's the van? Find the van. Find it. Find the van. Good girl. Yes. I want to take her out to the other trail when some of these people are leaving. So she's drinking water and I'm giving her a break in her safe place. And then we're going to go out and do it again. Forgot that I need to bring like mosquito repellent i know i was bit over here i know that i've seen a couple of mosquitoes now we're going to do the other side of the trail um, because all of those yoga people that were, they were out here in the parking lot doing yoga <laughs> these women doing yoga in a parking lot like for that i might as well stay home you want to go outside are you excited to go out you look like you want to go sika want to go hike should we go already are you rested are you rested look at her she looks excited. I think she really likes it. You see right there, there's a little squirrel and a crow and they're playing. Isn't this cute? Oh my gosh, I was so, oh, they're trying to get at each other's food. What are they sharing now? As long as she wants to go, I'm happy. She's not pulling me back to the van. So that means she is enjoying herself. So that giving her her place to drink water, rest, and feel it out is good. Come, Sika, come. 
see if these people just passed by us with a little dog i saw them coming this way so i sat here with Sika waiting for them and i had a good grip on her on her catch uh, and i was just teaching her not to bark at people she barks a little bit but she started loud and then I gave her some treats to stop and she stopped which is important that she's starting to get it all right we're gonna head back super hot i got long sleeves today I told you guys i'm dedicated to this and this is what i brought her for so i gotta train her for this not all dogs do well but i do like that she barks she lets me know there's somebody there she does know where the van is i actually when we were down in one of the trails i said to her Let, let's go back to the van and when i say van she understands and she she started smelling and she started bringing me back in the trail i was just letting her lead me she led, led me back but then i said let's turn here let's take a walk okay sometimes see that freaks her out that freaks her out okay you're okay you're okay you're okay you're okay. Let's go over there. Come on. Take a walk. You're okay. You, you're scared. Okay. You're okay. You're okay. Come. Sika, come. You're okay. Good girl. Oh, you're such a good girl. All right. The field is closed over there. Let's just go to the field that's closed and then we'll turn around. Nothing like a nice, cold, icy uh, mat full of dog food for her. She, she was good. Come and get it, Sika. Go get it. That's nice and icy cold. So she's gonna enjoy that because it is hot today. All right, I, she did really well. I twisted my ankle, almost twisted my ankle over there because she started, we were going down the hill to the point where it says that the road was closed and there's a downhill and there was a branch and then she pulled me and I stepped on that and there was a drop and I realized I'm gonna have to wear my hiking boots. I am not prepared to do these hikes with sneakers because these sneakers are the ones that slip in the back and slip them your foot in. Although they're comfortable, they're not for this kind of a park because this kind of a park has terrains and stuff. So I'm gonna bring my hiking boots that cover my ankle. All right, guys, we're taking off. that time of the year for potty and i just finished using this i didn't film that because there's really no place here where i can put my phone but i did use this barbecue what i did was i had taken out all the contents i put in a piece of tarp down there because there's a couple of holes at the bottom and i didn't want the dirt getting out and then i opened the bag of new dirt and i put it in there see the dirt in there so this is the place where i'm going to be potting everything here and this is, works out really great because when it gets dirty here, I can just take the blower and just blow everything clean. That's all my tools over there. But here's all the pots ready to go. So what you saw me do, I just did here, is all the pots with the fresh soil, everything mixed, everything good. There's some topping soil here for seedlings. It's the finer grain. So all of these are going to get the seeds. So I've already selected my seeds and they're in this box. But where I'm going to do this is in my kitchen because I have a bar stool in there and I have a kitchen island. And to me, I just think it's easier when I can sit there and watch TV and I could just do that. What are you doing? What are you doing? Are you okay? I love you. I love you, sick girl. Yes. You want to play? You want to go play? Come on, let's go play. Go get the ball. Okay, let's go. We're going to try this collar today. Okay. Right, we're going to try the martingale today. Let's see if we... Okay, that worked. That choked you, didn't it? She's trying the martingale, but I brought my harness anyway, just in case it didn't work out for her. She's got the martingale on. She's got her collar because it's got her tag on in case she gets loose. Um, but I'm bringing the bigger one because this is better for me to hold. Sweet dreams 
naked I hope you find some peace while you're asleep